My name is Chris, and I'm not a real pirate. I'm an actor. When I'm not spending time on the big screen spinning my guns in slow motion, I like to get out my paints and get a bit crafty. Today I'm going to show you how to finish off your flintlock with the super sweet paint job. If you haven't already seen my how to make a flintlock video, check it out by clicking the link in the upper right corner or the description below. And I do need to mention that some of the paints I use in this video have been supplied by DecoArt through their Helping Artists program. All right, let's get painting. Now I don't usually prime my foam, but today I will for two reasons. First of all, the foam is a little bit bumpier than normal because of all the sanding I've done. And secondly, DecoArt sent me this sample of decoupage matte glue sealer finish, and I just want to try it out and see how it works. So I'm just covering the whole thing with decoupage goodness, except not the plastic parts. Once the sealer dries, paint any surface that's going to be either wood or brass colored with brown paint. The exact color I'm using here is Liquitex Basics Burnt Umber. Anything that's going to look like it's made of steel, paint with black paint. I am using DecoArt Americana Premium Carbon Black. Paint the hammer, the little place the hammer would hit, the barrel, and the ramrod assembly. Make sure to cover everything with at least two coats of either brown or black paint. Once that paint is totally, absolutely dry, you can go back with some sandpaper and smooth the handle out a little bit more. You want to only sand a thin layer off the paint. If you go too far, you're going to hit the foam and get that furry foam again. If you do sand it, you're going to want to give it another coat of brown paint before the next section. Okay, so now we're ready to add a bit of a wood grain to the stock. I'm using the same brown and black paint I used before, as well as Liquitex Basics Raw Sienna. So, start by painting a section of the handle with a nice, thick, juicy coat of burnt umber. Now, quick like a bunny rabbit before it's dry, add a few streaks of black and raw sienna, blending them into the first layer of still wet burnt umber. Of course, probably easier than describing it would be just to let you watch a bit of this video right here while I whistle in the background. Just kidding, that would probably be super annoying. Once you're happy with how your wood grain looks, let it dry and we'll go on to the metallics. I'm using DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics. And I'm using their pewter color for all the steel parts. Wrap a cloth around your finger, dip a little bit out, and then smear it around on a piece of paper. We're doing this to reduce the amount of paint actually on the cloth so that we can apply it in a nice thin coating. Apply the paint to the gun barrel by rubbing lightly back and forth along the length of the barrel. It's best to start with a light coat and then build it up in layers to achieve the look you want. Do the same thing with the ramrod and the hammer. The thing about applying it with your finger is it doesn't reach into all the nooks and crannies, which is actually a really good thing because it helps to give it that antique look, as if parts of the pistol that don't get as much wear have darkened over time. 
I'm using the vintage brass color of Americana Decor Metallics by DecoArt for all the pieces I want to look like brass. Use the exact same techniques you used with the pewter color. You will notice that on the band around the barrel, I'm applying it with a vertical motion, whereas for the piece on the side, I'm using more of a circular motion. And that's it, you're all done. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope your flint locks turned out amazing. There'll be a link right here for the pattern if you need it. And yeah, have a great day. See ya.